Hi, I'm Blake Merwin, and these are the three things you need to know this week. Number one is CMJ Sunday. One of our distinctives as a church is how we value serving in our community. We do this all year long in many different capacities, but one opportunity rolls around every year. And that is for all of us to do together, and that is CMJ Sunday, which stands for Compassion, Mercy, and Justice Sunday. It's coming up in just a couple weeks, August 27th, and it's one Sunday. Our whole church across all campuses coordinates serving in various capacities in our community on a Sunday morning. So instead of gathering for worship in our worship centers on August 27th, we will be out helping others. For over a decade, the people of Harbor Cub who have participated in CMJ Sunday have made it a point to put our faith into action, our love of others into service of others. Everyone is invited to participate this year, everyone. We have a variety of projects in different locations. Some projects are for a few adults who can handle a lot of physical activity. Some are great for families to do together with their kids and some are great for people with limited mobility. The idea is everyone has an opportunity to serve. You can visit harborcovechurch slash CMJ Sunday to see a list of the projects and sign up to serve. Number two, CMJ Sunday projects. Now that you know what CMJ Sunday is about, here are a list of projects we have available. The Mustard Seed Project. We have two projects with the Mustard Seed, and the Mustard Seed promotes independent living of quality life for seniors living on the Key Peninsula. They've identified two different individuals that need help maintaining their property, which has been neglected to life situations and mobility issues. Evergreen Elementary. Harbor Cub has a great relationship with Evergreen Elementary School. We help with reading to students, supplying classrooms, and on CMJ Sunday, we are going to get their grounds ready for school. The Northwest Furniture Bank. The Northwest Furniture Bank strives to give under-resourced people a bed to sleep on, a sofa to sit on, and a table to eat from. And that means assembly. We have an opportunity to assemble lots of IKEA furniture that will be used in someone's home. Fish Food Bank. The Fish Food Bank coordinates food and other assistance to individuals in our community as they move towards self-sufficiency. They have two projects we can help with. One is collecting food from customers at Albertsons and the other is cleaning up and organizing their facility, especially around their loading dock. And finally, communities in schools. Communities in schools surround students with a community of support, empowering them to stay in school and achieve in life. This year, we are collecting school supplies for students and teachers at Evergreen Elementary and then assemble them at Central Campus on the 27th. This is actually something all of us can help with even if you can't make it to CMJ Sunday. Starting today, pick up a supply card or seven after the service that tells you what item to go get. Then head to Target, Kohl's, Costco, or wherever you need to to purchase that item and bring it back to the church office during the week or to worship with you on Sunday morning. We will be accepting donations up until the morning of CMJ Sunday. Again, you can visit Sunday to see more about these projects and to sign up to serve. Number three, fun fact. There's an ant species that is unique to New York City. Biologists found them in a specific area of New York City and named them Manhattan ants. And those are the three things you need to know this week. If you have any questions, visit harborcove.church.